Thank you for watching. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were out in Birmingham on Wednesday to carry out a series of engagements, including a visit to Acme Whistles, a 147-year-old family-owned business. Before leaving, the royal couple received brass whistles to take home, including a selection for their two children, Prince George, 4, and Princess Charlotte, 2. After being handed the presents, William joked that he wouldn't hear the last of it if George got his hands on the whistles, saying, don't show that to George. We'll never get any peace. It certainly seems that things will be a little noisier in the Cambridge household, as Kate was handed a bag with their presents, which included a plastic slide whistle, known for creating the sound of the children's TV show The Clangers. Earlier in the day, William and Kate also paid a visit to the Jaguar Land Rover's Solihull manufacturing plant. The couple were given an overview of the site before making their way to the vehicle assembly area where they viewed the assembly line, heard about the manufacturing process and met staff and apprentices. They also had the chance to drive a vehicle in the off-road driving area. The second engagement of the day took the Royals to Aston Villa Football Club. William, a known Aston Villa fan, and his wife saw how the Coach Corps program was being implemented in the club. They watched a training session of Coach Corps apprentices and tutors working with local children. The program works with Sport Birmingham to give young people between the ages of 16 and 24 the chance to become the next generation of inspirational coaches. Kate, who was pregnant with the couple's third child, looked as stylish as ever throughout the day. The Duchess dressed in an all-black ensemble, consisting of a black funnel neck jumper, slim fit black jeans and dark-hued trainers. She topped the look off with a black and cream coat, 